the video kicks on i know i started it early how strange is that actually a video early but of course it's really almost 15 minutes late all together why no nipples they're in the middle underneath this tube right there all right we'll see if the video starts up come on you can do it Manny faces smash. All right. So far, so good. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay, I don't see any leg. Cool, cool. I should have reset the internet before I started, but we're here now. So for those that watched the first two shots earlier, sorry, I'm gonna try it again. Third time's the charm. So. We got this Manny Faces, and I was really stoked about getting him. I got him on Amazon the other day because he's the right skin tone like he's supposed to be as, a, according to the, as opposed to this jaundice-looking one that we got. And so um, I was all excited about him. There's a couple of flaws in it, like one, that his upper legs weren't painted, two, that these weren't painted blue on the back, and maybe the tube should be painted a color like purple. I mean, even this one got some coloring on the tubes. But then when I turned the head... I realized that this is the wrong face. That is not the face we're supposed to have for Manny Faces in the comic. I know it says the comic one. Um, for those that did not see my video the other day, let me show you what I'm talking about, and then we'll get into painting. Let me grab an extra light here. Uh, then we'll grab the comic book. All right. It's funny, I have the small comic books in the other room. I probably should have just grabbed one of those. It would be much easier, but that's okay. I should have put the bookmark in there yesterday. That would have been easier, too. Let's see. There it is. Actually, I found it pretty quick this time. Okay, so here he is in the middle of transforming. And you can see we have uh, Manny Human, Manny Monster, and Manny Not Identified yet. Then you turn the page. Zoop. And you can see here we have Manny Human, Manny Monster, and this is supposed to be the in-between of the human and the monster face. And then finally, after he explodes and it all happens, you can see there's his true robot face, and it's nothing like the face they gave us. They gave us the in-between that's only there for a split second in this scene right here, which isn't even silver, it's like, like white because it was blank in the previous one. So if you were to make an animation out of this, you'd have the empty blank face. Then you'd have the, the half and half face. And then you would finally have the robot head. So they should have given us this head here. And that's why I am so uh, annoyed with the head they gave us because... For one, if it's the in-between face, it shouldn't be silver. They obviously tried to make it look... They must have thought this was the robot face here. That's all I can think of. Is somebody took this one page out of this book and designed the figure from this page right here, not realizing this is not the robot. This is the half morphed in between these two. As shown here when he's finally a full-fledged robot head. Robot head! Actually, looks almost like Baron Karza, kind of. So, I am not really happy about it. So that is what's going on. All right. Hey, Josh, thanks for joining us. Not too much is up. Juan Soto, thanks for being here. Uh, glad you just tuned in. Giraffe. When he's in, yeah, that's funny, man. Todd, can you switch faces and put the face on the other? Yep, so you can see here are the faces. Here is our man, monster, supposed to be robot, but really not. All right, so I'm annoyed because it's the right skin tone, but the wrong faces, and there's no upper skin up here. Now, I could try to pry this open and figure out a way to open this somehow and swap the heads, and that would probably be a better way to fix it. But you know what? I I've just had it. I'm just going to set them aside right now. And we are just going to finally fix this one that I should have fixed a really long time ago. And I'm kind of kicking myself for not doing it. 
day one. I should have pulled them out of the package and just started painting them right off the bat because I really like uh, how the classics look with the skin tones. You know, it's way cooler when he has the actual skin tones. So that's what I'm kind of going for. So I have this skin tone paint and I have the link in the description. Oh, oh, and this is my whole entire skin pack. So I could use one of these to uh, pick out his skin. And you know what? I think I might go with this one here. That's a good one. It's a nice tan. Let's shake it up. And this one's a little too white here. This one's too orange. We have enough orange already on him. I think that's the one I want to go with. Now, I do have this right here that I used to use for my skin tones all the time. See, I marked it skin. And you can see this right here in case you want to get this from the craft store. This is uh, the one I usually got. It's known as golden brown is the color. And generally, I'd start with this and then mix in other colors to make my skin tone. But I'm trying something different today. So let's go ahead and pull them apart so we got easier access. Let's get his legs off so I can get way up inside there. And let's dunk them in hot water. Hot water! There we go. Where are my tongs of power? Hold on, I gotta find my tongs. I got them. Tong to tong tong. All right. Manny faces with my second figure in 83, says pop actor. Nice. Hey, Charles, thanks for joining us. Okay, so with that, before you start painting, first thing you want to do is clean it with alcohol really good. I got some 99% pure alcohol. When you clean, it's a two-part process. You want to get it wet and dry it off. So you want to have no residue left when you do this. So let's go ahead and do up his torso now i'm not planning on painting his face i don't think i don't know we'll see how it looks um it gets a little more challenging to do something like the face itself so let's go ahead and clean off any finger oils i might have left behind from playing with this figure many times and my grandson playing with them and everybody else in the house who's touched him granddaughter i think i even had my wife one time and she was even looking at him so there we go um, you don't want to use rags that you threw in your washing machine because a lot of times they have softeners in them that will add more residue to the part. So you want to always use a clean, um, disposable towel of some sort. Make sure it doesn't have lotion in or nothing else because that will make it so your paint won't adhere. You can hear it's kind of got a squeaky sound when it's nice and clean. Look at that, some of the yellow came off when I was scrubbing it. All right, let's go ahead and get his legs out of here. Hot, hot, hot. Let's set those all aside. Bust the legs off. And you know what? I'm just going to pull his knees. No, you know what? I better not. I want to lose track of which side goes to which. Let's do the same thing. Let's alcohol clean his upper thighs. Now that is evaporating off really quick because it's such a hot part from me having it in the bin. There's some wet alcohol. All right, so remember, alcohol cleans two parts. Wipe on, wipe off, just like the Karate Kid. Wax on, wax off. All right, there we go. He is cleaned. He's ready to be painted. So I'm going to start with the, the torso. That's going to be the hardest part. So let's go ahead and shake this paint up really good. He 
Even though I shook it up good, it's still not mixed very well. So I want to put enough on here to actually complete the figure so that I don't have uh, an unmatched paint later on. And I'm not going to use this little brushes for touch-ups that I might have missed later on. I'm going to start with the big old broad brush. And you see, it's actually pretty close to this Manny Faces here, the Filmation one, which is which is my favorite color of Manny Faces, the Filmation one. Let's see how well this paint adheres to this. Let me go and change this angle. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. Now the trick about painting on figures is... Uh, couple things. One, you don't want to put it on too thick. Putting it on too thick is just going to take and ruin the aesthetic we're going for. So you want to put it on really thin and then almost dry brush it on. Now I, I wish I had some good purple to use as well for his tubes and everything else, but I'm just going to leave him that kind of pink color for right now. I always like to use the angled brushes. They work really good for this to get into the spots you want. And to give it that really clean look like it's been airbrushed, you just keep going over it again and again to just kind of dry wipe it and not leave any crazy paintbrush marks. Funny. When I was a kid, I used to watch my uh, stepdad, and he would he would do cars, not paint them, but um, he would uh, wax them and buff them and stuff. And uh, that was his trick. His trick was he would dry, uh, do it afterwards, and it just they looked amazing when he was done. So I kind of learned some of these techniques from him, watching him do his uh, his stuff. All right, that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Onto the stomach. Yeah, I don't know why I just didn't do this on day one and been happy with it. I've complained about his jaundicey yellow skin forever. I guess I should show you guys the color I chose, huh? That way you can pick the exact same color and buy just that one if you wanted to. Again, I said the description is on, or in the description is the link to buy these paints I'm using. So much better. Now again, the trick is to uh, keep dry brushing it, even on the parts you've already painted, just to get rid of any paintbrush marks so it looks like it's airbrushed. And then also the trick is to uh, do that clean. If you don't do that clean first with the alcohol and the dry wipe, the paint won't adhere very well. Sorry, I can't read you guys' comments. I see them coming in, but I'm unable to look at them right now. So if you put it on too thick, you'll get all kinds of paintbrush marks that will look horrible later on. So that's why I used to do real thin coats. All right. That's looking mighty fine. Mighty fine there, Hebrew.
Now I was tempted just to use the shading stuff and just to use my uh, clear paints here. But then I realized by doing that, it may not get rid of the jaundice you look correctly. It might like make the skin look really strange. But I think, I think that looks not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, let's set them over here to dry a little bit. And let's move on to the legs. Yeah, again, I don't know why I just didn't start this a long time ago. Now, many of you may not want your Manny faces this dark. I know usually he's lighter in color, but I like the filmation look, which is much darker like this. Again, sorry I can't get your comments right now while I'm doing this. Should have put on my good painting glasses. Oh, oh. Getting in those small, tight little areas. All right, not too shabby. All right, on to the next leg. See if we can't have this leg just stand on its own. Oh, way too thick. It's gonna take a while to get this one softened up after I put so much paint on it, but we'll, we'll make it work. Now remember when you paint like this, the paint will come out darker than um, what it looks like before it's dry. So as it dries, expect it to get a little bit darker. All right, and now on to the arms. This will be a little trickier, so I'm gonna use a little bit smaller brush here. Tanny faces, yes. He is going for the tan. Now I could tell I did not clean these as well because the paint is not sticking as good. So it's going to take a, a number of passes to get this just right. And it may be because these parts are painted instead of just being a plastic color. So that may be part of the issue. A 
We'll get tanny faces all painted up. Have to go back and do a second coat on here. It's just not sticking very well to that that paint. If I would have hit it with the clear coat first, it would have adhered better. And I was really debating whether to do, do that or not. I think that's funny, tanny faces. Now, in retrospect, I probably should have pulled this apart at the elbow. So I could do each one of these separately easier. All right, let's move on to the other arm. We'll come back and finish that one in a few minutes. If I didn't have somebody else on here with me so they could be talking to you guys while I'm doing this or... Uh playing some music in the background at least you guys entertain each other with chatting so that's cool Let's do this forearm now. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of painting figures, as you guys know. I'm more about swapping parts. This Manny Arms parts are so unique. And yeah, I probably could have matched the other skin tone and then just swapped out some parts like the arms, but anyway. Let's go ahead and uh, heat this one up really quick and dry it. Got my handy heat gun. Now the reason I have my heat gun is uh, when I put these back together, I do not want to use hot water. Hot water will ruin the paint that is put on there. So we're gonna use the heat gun in order to put it all back together once I put the clear coat on.
let's go ahead and do the second coat. Coat number two. Here we go. Oop. Ah. Coming out really nice. Should have brought better glasses in though. It's really hard to see these little corner edges. Well, that looks a whole lot better now. Looks almost store-bought, look at that. All right, let's do this one now. And again, the trick is to keep applying the paint, keep the coats thin if you can, and uh, dry brush it on as opposed to total wet brush. Look at the difference between first coat and second coat. Nice. It's looking really clean. That's the key. My wife always tells me I shouldn't groove on my own stuff. Sorry, you guys. I know a little too much grooving. Got a little bit of paint on his arm there, and just take and wipe it off my thumbnail. Remember your key is to keep dry brushing it so it does not look like you painted it on. That way it gives it a nice finish so it looks like it's been airbrushed on there. Cool, cool. Actually, I think that's done. When it looks good, leave it alone. All right, I'm gonna clean my paintbrushes. You know what I was just realizing? I should probably put a second coat on him because his legs look a whole lot darker than this does. So let's just throw on a second quick coat on here. My 
paint's drying out. done Just a small little area here. Hooray. You know what? I'm going to have to do his face. His face needs some definite changes there. So since I can't do a wipe on, wipe off very easily, we're going to use these Q-tips here to do the alcohol clean. Turn them over so I don't accidentally get alcohol in the freshly painted part. And this is going to be a treat trying to get this little area in here painted. Try Q tip. I'm going to go grab my other glasses and I'm going to grab a smaller paintbrush. I'll be right back. Yeah, I know. The yellow under his helmet drives me crazy. It should be blue. got my higher vision spectacles so I can put those on <sighs> gotta clean them first so I can see out of them and let me set these ones aside and I got this cool tube of super small miniature paintbrushes and I think I'll go with this one here. Ugh. Open, where are my scissors? There we go, no scissors required, we got it. There we go, nice small paintbrush. And let's turn his head this way first and see what kind of damage we can do here before this paint completely dries on me. I have a bad feeling about this because this paintbrush is so small, it'll be hard to do the bright dry brush technique on it. And it's going to take a couple coats. Let's 
Let's turn his head. It's funny, it's like he's a two-faced guy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. In retrospect, I wish I would have done his face first before painting his body, because now I gotta be very careful not to get fingerprints all over his body. This is going on way too thick. Okay, now for his forehead. Oh, oh, I got paint on the side. No. We'll try our best to dry brush it, but I'm afraid she's going to make a mess. We'll see. Because his face is painted, it's going to take a couple coats too, just like we saw with uh, the arms to get it just right. Do I have a dry brush anywhere? There we go. All right, let's try this off really quick. Then we'll stick on coat number two. Here's the second coat now. It's not looking too bad. 
Not looking too bad at all. My paint's really drying out fast though on my little lid over here. Usually I don't paint on camera too, so this is a rarity for you guys to see. Just yesterday I repainted my King Grayskull face and I didn't show you guys on camera. Nope. What do you guys think? Not too shabby? Yep, tanny faces. There you go. All right. So I'm going to go wash my paintbrushes while that stuff's doing a final dry. Then I'll head downstairs and do my clear coat on it. You guys can look at all the pieces of parts sitting there. And you can try to figure out this paint color number if you want. There it is. I'll zoom in on it. That is the paint that I used. I'll be right back with some clean brushes. See. All right, so the next step is to put my clear coat on. Let's see, here it is. I'm gonna use this Krylon matte finish, but if you just spray the figure the way it is right now, it's gonna be a mess. Everywhere you have just plastic that's not painted, is gonna make it really sticky. So what I found out is really cool when you use that Krylon paint, it actually uh, soaks into the paint you painted and makes it permanent. So. Our goal is to coat this with blue tape. If I can find where I stuck my roll of blue tape at. I know I just had it before I started the video. Well, you know what? Oh, here it is. See, it's on the blue board. It's invisible. <laughs> where is that tape? That's funny. So let's start with these arms. First of all, I'm just going to pull his hands off. No sense even worrying about trying to tape those. We'll just yank them off. Ugh. There we go. And this doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to cover the majority of it. If you don't get it perfect on there, I wouldn't worry about it too much. It's just to cover the majority of the area that you want to not get paint on it. It's not that huge of a deal if you're not exact. You just don't want to have a whole bunch of really sticky parts everywhere.
This is probably the most boring part. Watching somebody tape their parts. Not a lot of excitement. So you can see I got some slight gaps here and there, no big deal. All right, let's tape the other arm. In retrospective, I should have closed the other arm more like that. I may go back and retape it and do that. Come on and tape it up, baby, now. Tape it up, baby. With that blue masking tape. Blue masking tape. This is known as painter's tape. It has low adhesion. So adhesion, how you want to say it. And so it works good for doing this kind of stuff so you don't leave tape residue all over your stuff. Now they do have some green tape, too. It's supposed to have some kind of chemical in it to block the paint from getting up where you don't want it. Um, I've never used it on figures. My wife uses it all the time for painting other stuff. So I don't know if, the, if it causes a chemical reaction or not to your plastic. So, all right. Let's see if I can bend that just a little bit. That's a little better. All right, on this here on the head, I'm not gonna worry about all the tubes, but I am gonna worry about the mechanism right up on here. Because the tubes look like they're already painted, so if I cover them, that's great. If I don't, I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. I just don't want it to get in all the gaps. and ruin his uh, face-turning abilities. go not too shabby that should work and now for his legs You know what? I should put it over here instead. There we go.
right, almost done. All right, that will do her. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. I will uh, zoom in on the other Manny faces while I'm gone so you guys can look at the horrid face that has caused me to spin out of control and say, this is why I'm doing this. And let me go paint these. I'll be right back in a few minutes.
back from painting my parts. Whew. You're like, finally, what are we watching this video for? The guy just takes off and splits on us. So if you ever get a box from me and uh, it has this on it, that means I used your box to paint stuff. <laughs> so I do use the boxes that I sell sometimes, so it's kind of funny. All right. So there's one leg. There's the other. There's the torso. Still not quite dry yet. And the arms are pretty dry. I did them pretty early on. So I find a good way to dry these really fast is just to use like a paper plate and uh, just uh, fan them off just like that. Usually takes 15 minutes to dry, but this makes it dry pretty quick. Sometimes I use a fan and a heat gun too, it dries them pretty fast. So we got long ways to go. Let's first put the legs back on. So that torso is gonna take the longest for it to dry. That was the last thing I did. So let's pull this tape off. And this time we are not gonna use the hot water to do it because the hot water will just ruin our paint job. Especially because we just finished it. You wanted to let it sit between 24 to 48 hours to get completely solidified. So I'm actually probably putting these on a little pretty maturely, but I can always go back up and retouch it if I um, make too many mistakes with it. There we go. One leg. Even though it's tempting, try not to uh, mush the, the tape off. Otherwise, you'll end up leaving residue behind. So always pull it off, not mush it off. All right, we got our trusty heat gun here. Let's see, this goes on this side. This goes on this side. We're just softening that joint up so it can uh, fit back inside there. Let's see if I got it soft enough. Be very careful not to scratch this because it will scratch really easy right now. Oh, I scratched it a little bit. No. All right, onto the other side. Like I said, normally I'd wait 48 hours before I put them back together, but I want to show you guys what he looks like. I can go back and retouch the paint. Hooray. Now somewhere around here I have a second jaundiced man at arms so we can compare them. Let's see if I can't find him. So we can do a before and after shot. Before and after. Yeah. 
There we go. Man at arms. Many faces. Did I call a man at arms? I did, didn't I? All these guys with man in it. Okay. It's like opening those old Tootsie Rolls at Christmas time that you got that were two years old. Because your aunt bought them years ago. And they're not going to waste. Now, if you were to use the gloss clear coat, you would have seen where the tape lines were all the way around. It looked look horrible. That's why I have to use the mat. Dun da da. Oops, oh, sorry about that. My battery was dying on me. Anyway, now you guys probably missed. I don't know how long you missed, but there he is. Hopefully the video starts up again. Sorry about that. I don't know why my battery's dying. I thought I had it plugged in. All right, let me look for the other jaundice. Man at arms, hopefully. Okay, it's still working, cool. Sure, now I find a Prince Adam. I'm just trying to match the skin tone. Let's just see how close it is. Oh yeah, his skin tone's pretty close if you wanted to swap out those hands. Oh, I see his foot. Let me pull him out of there. Oh, there he is. So now you guys can see the comparison. Way better. Oh yeah. Let's take a look at the 80s. Where is the 80s Manny faces? There he is. So here's the 80s one, and the color is actually pretty close to the 80s one, even though he was more orange. So I'm actually pretty happy with the darkness of it because it does match the 80s darkness too. There we go. Way cooler. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, hot, hot. Yeah, I hate the jaundice look too. I just cannot stand it. Crazy, crazy. All right, you guys, thanks for watching and bearing with me that whole entire time. I know it was a pretty long process to see me paint the whole entire thing, but man, he does look a whole lot better. Perfect, no. There's still some weird little spots, like on his arms here, you can see the, the paint's not exactly smooth on there. But that's because it was painted underneath. But I think for the most part, he does look a whole lot better. On the parts that did get scratched, ended up underneath his uh, back of his loincloth, so it's not visible anyway. So I'm pretty happy with that. Granted, I still have the yellow line right here. I'll probably go in later on and fill it in the black, just so that I don't have to try to match the blue. 
take some black ink and stick it in there or something. And I will let him sit for 48 hours before I start playing with him. But next to the original 80s one, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Thanks, Josh. Sure, Jeff. Glad you guys could enjoy it. Nice, Josh. Glad I inspired you. All right. And again, this is the paint I used. Use the link in the description. It comes in the skin color kit, or you can look for it separately. No mixing, just using it straight out of the bottle. Hey, Dorky Hippie 81, I haven't seen you in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, one definitely has some kind of liver problem or something. All right, until next time, good journey, you guys. Bye now. And don't forget, share the video. Bye now.